My name is Masayuki Tayama and uh, I'm a concert pianist. Um, I've had the fortune of performing in some of the world's prominent venues uh, such as the Wigmore Hall, the Queen Elizabeth Hall and the South Bank and uh, many other halls in Japan and the States as well. I've also had uh, many opportunities to perform concertos with orchestra as well and lately I've gone through all the, the piano concertos by Rachmaninoff and also the the two concertos by uh, Brahms as well. Uh, I'm also in the midst of recording uh, Rachmaninoff's entire piano solo works, uh, a catalog of his works, uh, which has been quite a journey of discovery. Uh, teaching wise, it's something that I have enjoyed throughout my career, and the highlight has to be when I was teaching uh, at uh, the Cheatham School of Music, uh, where I had the pleasure of working to train the next generation of young artists. My name is Rihanna Henderson and primarily I am a piano teacher with over 40 students which keeps me busy during the week. I am also the manager of the Piano Teachers Course UK which is an organisation offering professional development courses to piano teachers in the UK and beyond. I have a first class music degree from King's College London and together Massa and I also run the Piano Boat. This is something that has been in the planning for a very long time. Um, five years ago now we started planning it and finally last year, last summer in 2021 we launched it. We had a fantastic six months. We were very grateful to have some really good publicity early on which sort of kick-started us and we had such a fantastic time offering these musical cruises to guests who were coming from all over the country um, to come and see us. It was brilliant. Then unfortunately in January Massa was not well. Over Christmas he was not well and um, he was eventually admitted to a hospital. He then received um, a diagnosis of unoperable pancreatic cancer. So this really put a spanner in the works for us. Well, in fact, I wasn't feeling that well, uh, even from towards the end of last year. Um, I remember we, some of the cruises that we ran um, afterwards, I was straight back in bed and Rihanna had to do all the, the clearing up. And of course, at that time we thought, oh, it must be just stress. I get stressed very easily. And so we thought, oh, it's just stress. We started in the summer, uh, it must be building up, it'll go away. And of course it didn't. Um, but uh, since then, uh, well, it's almost a year now, really, since the diagnosis. Um, uh, we're at, uh, towards the end of November now. Um, and uh, we, we really have been fortunate to, to, to get so much support from our close friends and family. And, uh, um, and, uh, and of course, uh, the care uh, at the hospital have been uh, fantastic throughout. So, um, here, of course, I, I'd like to, to feel that um, I have been uh, quite fortunate in where I am. I'm still here, of course, um, so uh, that's that's where I feel I am. But uh, of course, it it hasn't it hasn't been easy for neither of us in so many contexts, of course. Obviously, from a business perspective, receiving the news was a real blow because we Master was initially in hospital for almost two weeks in January and. We didn't know what was happening. Um, he seemed to be declining in health at the time. Um, and we just, we knew he had to start treatment straight away, but we didn't have a timeline. And we, we ended up having to cancel the next six months worth of cruises. That's as far as we'd got in terms of bookings. We'd released dates all the way up to the summer. We'd had bookings, we'd taken, taken bookings for a lot of those cruises and we just had to cancel everything. So on, yes, on a business level, obviously that was not good and we didn't have the prospect of being able to plan ahead really. 
uh, not to mention the turmoil of receiving the news on a personal level at the time. Well, since the diagnosis, I did consider carefully uh, the, the risks and also for letting uh, the other concert promoters down and uh, having to cancel last minute, um, having been informed of certain side effects and um, um, the, the, the course of the treatments and I have made the decision to cancel all my uh, performing engagements since, uh, since well, since January, really. Um, and uh, of course I have now stopped regular teaching entirely as well. Um, but uh, one thing that we have, well, I have had the opportunity to carry on, of course, is the online uh, concerts, the monthly concerts from on board, uh, where I felt I had, um, well, we, we, we have been doing sort of regular monthly, uh, well, plus sometimes even more than monthly um, outputs from on board uh, since the, the lockdown period. And we have, um, ha have, we have good supporters uh, following us. Um, so we, we felt that uh, this is one that I could potentially say so sorry we need to cancel last minute if we, if we had to. But uh, so far it, it has been interesting um, because uh, of course it had to be that uh, one of the side effects of the, the medicine of course is the, the peripheral neuropathy and uh, it has happened. Um, I, at this stage I, I can barely feel my fingertips. I can still move them but I just can't really feel the fingertips at all. On good days maybe I, I feel the pins and needles which is very uncomfortable because of course I'm used to, to, to playing the piano with the sensation uh, at my fingertips and it has been a very um, very strange journey but in a way it has, it has been a, sort of an eye-opener of sorts in that uh, now I've slightly changed my technique and also the having to rely more on my ear to, to respond to the sound that I'm making. So um, there are ways around it, I felt, and uh, only because I can still move my fingers. I mean, they actually said, let them know if I can't do my buttons. And I thought if I got to that stage, that's, um, that's quite a significant issue there. But um, they have stopped that particular medicine uh, when, it, when it started to get quite bad. Um, so, uh, and um, it still seemed to work, so I'm not sure why they needed it in the first place, but I, I suppose there, there's a reason. Um, but um, so that's one thing I have been able to carry on, um, the monthly concerts, with the various programs still. To be honest, learning new repertoire does seem to take time to settle in. It's a strange thing, but the, the more familiar repertoire I have been able to bring up, even though I would pro I have needed more practice on the familiar repertoire than before, like if I do the cruise contracts um, in those days, I would go on board a uh, slightly larger uh, boat than this um, on the, 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 the ocean liners or the cruise ships. And uh, I would go on board with about five or six um, programs. And uh, to be honest, whilst I do prepare all of them before uh, embarking because of the sheer number of, of pieces to prepare, some are of course uh, left till the last minute, which I was quite capable of, but uh, nowadays I do feel um, that I am needing more time to go through the, the even one program. Um, and of course these are, pro when I say programs, they're sort of like a uh, lunchtime recycle program, 45 minutes thereabouts. It's not a two halves with an interval, um, but uh, even for that I do feel I need more time. But of course in, in one context I, I do have the time. Um, to actually uh, do that. So um, yeah, it has, been, it, it has been something of an eye-opener this year to really re-engage with looking at the technical um, execution and relying more on my ear to respond to the, the sound that I'm creating. So uh, um, in that context, it, uh, it has been quite an enlightening, enlightening experience. This year has been very difficult in many ways. Um, in terms of the boat, we've been turning people away. We've been getting inquiries and have to say, I'm really sorry, we just don't know when we're going to be running. Um, you know, we haven't been able to plan uh, more than two weeks ahead. Anybody who's been through chemotherapy or any kind of treatment will know that you're just going from one week to the next, never sure when the next appointment is going to come in. So, so planning, you know, more than a couple of weeks in advance has been really just impossible this year. 
So we thought initially everything was going to be over and done with. Within a few months, by the summer, we would be back uh, up and running, back to normal. And obviously that didn't happen the way we had hoped it would. So it's, you know, it's taken us a while to kind of formulate and, and decide that actually we probably, you know, we want to share what's been going on and we kind of owe it to people who, especially those who've been holding on to their, letting us hold on to their bookings um, just to explain, you know, really what's been going on this year. We also discovered that the 17th of November is the World Pancreatic Cancer Day. So we thought this ties in quite nicely with that. And in addition to that, we have finally found a suitable break in Massa's treatment to be able to start running some cruises over Christmas, which is really exciting because it's been, um, it's been almost almost a year now since the last cruise, which would have been last December. Um, so it's been a very long time coming, but we are seriously looking forward to it. We just also wanted to say um, a huge thank you to everybody for your for your patience, your support, and all the kind messages and phone calls that we've received this year. You know, it's been it's been a strange time. I mean, of course, it's been a difficult year for everybody, really. Um, but we are so we're so thankful that you know everybody has been so supportive um, during this time. Um, and obviously, we've had the cats with us as well, which has, has been great therapy. And Elizabeth has decided she wants uh, a moment of fame on camera as well. Um, so, aside from the the cruises that we're doing over December, you know, it's still difficult for us to plan ahead. Um, I'm still going through treatment at the moment, but we are really we're always looking for opportunities. Um, and and in 2023, we'll be doing the same thing. Just looking for those opportunities when we can run um, cruises again. So yeah, we are really looking forward to getting back onto the canal.